Hey guys, welcome back to the Wade Farms channel. Making a video today. Why did we buy this specific Honda Pioneer? Um, I'm sure it's questions people have been asking or if they're going to eventually ask. I'm going to go over the different options that we got for this thing and just basically why we wanted to get this. And the first thing and the most important thing to look at is, well, you open the door. Oh, Gunner, I guess you can open the door. Three seats right there. You come back here, you got another three seats. Six seater. Honda Pioneer with a free open space bed, no, no bars that come down or anything. Oh, huh. thank God made jeans. Um, but uh, yeah. So roof, I can put this tailgate down. Granted, it is kind of high up here. <clears throat> Get up in here. I don't have a, I don't have a rough. Look, see, here's the rough. Um, I'm I'm a lot higher than that because if it's a five seater, the rough would come out and it would be, it'd be about like right at my waist, and I wouldn't be able to stand up on the back of this bed, and that is a big game changer. That's uh, whew. oh wow. Big jump, but uh, another nice thing is the bed is a lot higher. Like, you come over here to this Kawasaki mule. Um, <clears throat> and the bed, you know, kind of low. I used to always think the bed was good, but it's pretty low. It's like almost to my knee. Um, and you know, the latches are little bad on it and it's it's just I mean, this thing's made 2017 it's got 452 hours on it but uh this pioneer um nice uh you know it's a six seater in the bed i think the other option i want to go over and people ask or they might ask what kind of winch you got when we got this well it's all like muddy. We got the. I just want to make sure you guys can see this. Let me get some light. Synthetic rope. We didn't get the metal or any chain or anything. Got the synthetic rope. So, you don't have to worry about it binding up. And if it does bind up, then, you know, not that big of a deal. And look. If you needed to, you could grab it and you won't hurt your fingers. You won't get metal shavings in your hands or you won't get all cut up. I think that's another good reason. Um, it's a little dirty right now. But um, <sighs> I'd go over more reasons, but there aren't really any more reasons. The bed is the big one. This, and then there's another option on here. Like, why did we get this machine specifically? And I think these nets down here, you guys, oh, hold on. Get my flashlight back out again. These um, cargo nets, um, here's, I didn't even know that one was there. There's another little one inside of it. But um, the cargo nets are a really nice feature, and I think that only came in these. I'm not sure. But, um,. Doors are kind of hard to open, but they're kind of hard to open them. Um, but another good option is all this under seat storage. It's, it has a great amount. Look, max load, 50 pounds for that compartment. Uh, max load. 100 pounds and that one should be 50 so uh 200 pounds that of stuff that you can put under the seat which is that's that's pretty good what's the payload on the bed payload on the bed 
It's a thousand, so the five seater had eleven hundred, but I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about putting fifteen hundred pounds in the back of this thing wouldn't bother me. But um Alright, so that's the reason why we bought this specific machine. Now time to go on to the reasons the other reasons why not the less less important reasons why we got this machine. First of all is cup holder space. Old one, one cup holder, two cup holders. You still have, well, you have three people up here. And you only have two cup holders, so that's only two drinks. You got your driver and your passenger, it's only a drink for. Now you only have the back, the, fi the five seater, so you have two people in the back that have nowhere to put their drinks. Now, if you're in the middle passenger, you can put one of your drinks on one of these, the side doors in the front and the back. So you got, in total, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, everybody has a cup holder for their drink. You don't have to worry about not ever bringing a drink. And I think, what about, I mean, a regular plastic water bottle will fit in there. I don't know about any of your Yeti cups or anything, but a Yeti cup will fit in these bigger cup holders, so... You got, um, two big cup holders, but you're, uh, here you drink. So I think that's the reason, another good reason is you got, you know, you can haul a lot of people and you can also have a lot of, you know, cup holder space. But now, another good option is this rear view mirror. Thing's really nice. Um, I, I mean, the side mirror's got this plastic and stuff away and you, you Honda makes a deluxe one that comes out like this, but usually they come out like this, like a towing mirror, not like a regular mirror. So, um, I mean, we haven't got a mirror, but this rear view mirror, is, it's good enough. I, I won't have to worry about it. Um, other than that, those are the, you know, just stuff that's not really that important, but standardly, I think this standardly came with the machine, but standardly comes with the machine and why we bought the machine. Now going on to the options, heat. Heat is another really big one. Let me get my phone out again, flashlight. Heat is another really big one. There's the heat controls. There's a winch, the winch controls too. Heat, you got three fan modes and granted it doesn't blow out that fast, but you don't really need it to. You got, there's, um, these vents and the frost. You got feet and, um, regular vents. And then you got the frost and feet. Um, you can even set the temperature for it. I always have, I would always have it on high. Um, and, you know, max fan speed and max heat with, this option blows out the most heat. Um, the froster is nice, so if you're, windshield ever, you know, gets fogged up and you're, you know, park it outside ever, and you got, you know, defroster so you can defrost it. Um, another option that we got is these radios. The only thing I don't like is that these radios, as you guys can see, there's no, there's no dead pedal, even though the dead pedal is really high. It's sometimes nice to have it, but the dead pedal is really high, so I don't really use it anyways. Um... As so, there is another speaker over there, too. Um, already said under seat uh, storage. That's already a, a thing we have. Um, I'm going on to the back seats. I don't think there's anything really, you know. I think the back seats actually have more room. A little, I'd say a little bit more difficult to get into, but I get in here. And this is how you regularly should be if you have, you know, stuff in your, uh, the back of it. But look, I can stretch my feet out, and there, I can make my feet straight if I want to. Back here, middle, your feet are up a little bit more, but you can still stretch them out. Same thing over there, too. You can stretch them out. Um... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. A little hard to try and slide into the middle seat, but I don't know. Maybe, whoops. Um, if you want to, if you want something with hard doors and full hard and not, 
you know, holes in them. And I'd wait, I'd go get yourself cam for, or a Polaris, wait a couple years, let, give Honda a chance to get hard doors on this. And once this gets hard doors, heat and AC, good heat and AC blowing out system, and then I'd trade in your Can-Am or your Polaris or Passac or whatever you'd get, and I'd stop by your Honda dealership and go get one. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and bell post notifications. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next time on Wade Farms.